Hey, good morning. That's been a while since I've done a video. It's been a while since I've done anything. Uh, what I've decided to do is the first little CNC I built, I built it out of a, an old Chinese multi purpose mill drill lathe unit, and uh, it had its drawbacks. Only part really was the fact that parts were not available anymore and the uh, lead screws and, and uh, nuts were all wore out so decided that for fun I would build a CNC machine out of all brand new parts so what we've got is I bought a uh, Grizzly G0705 mill drill uh, heavy uh, it would be interesting getting it on the stand. Of course, getting the stand off the top of the box was interesting. But uh, I won't bore you guys with any of the setup and what have you. It's going to be a long process, being the fact my precision levels out at the kid. So uh, probably going to be a few days before I get anything going on this. But anyway, uh, it's a nice-looking machine. Absolutely heavy-duty. Uh, could I have bought better? Yep. Uh, I've had really pretty good luck with Grizzly, so I'm going to go ahead with this one and, and see if hopefully I can get a little better accuracy. So I'll pick this up after it's set in place and cleaned up. Used my uh, hydraulic little engine crane there. And then I built some bars, one for the front and one for the back of the pedestal there. Two by two tubing and then they got a, that's a little bit of a rough top belt so it won't slide around. It worked pretty slick. Uh, now for the tedious job of setting and leveling the base and then I think you're gonna have to start all over again once you set this big heavy son of a gun on there but well the little beastie is satin in place uh, the base is grouted in leveled uh, level as I can get it I didn't really care for the way it hung this morning when I was trying to to get it picked up so I built a top bar and then that let the chains hang straight up and down and it it uh, took me a little bit to get the length adjusted on it but it was well worth it it was pretty easy being I worked by myself uh, so that's just an update only got a few parts on the way everything else is here so the CNC part of this is gonna start pretty quick Well, there it sits. Uh, looking good. Got the dial indicator on it this morning, and it's dead nuts level from uh, the longitudinal travel from to the left to the right or the x axis. And I've got four and a half taper front to back. And so I'm going to get the shims and I'll shim the vise and it'll be technically ready to run uh, still waiting on the motors and the the drivers and what have you but it's supposed to be here day after tomorrow so the project will begin good morning yeah doing three projects simultaneously yeah uh, mechanical side of the Grizzly conversion is uh, pretty much finished today. I just drilled and did the set screws for the uh, big timing pulleys for the X and the Y. Uh, I saw a website, guys, uh, their name's Flash Cut CNC. They're really a good looking outfit. Uh, I took the liberty of building the mounts uh, 
from what I saw off of their uh, videos for the installation of a grizzly conversion and what have you. Uh, they gave me a quote to do everything that I just built mechanically. And I mean, it really, when you stop and think of what I've, you know, I've been working on this for about a week on and off. Uh, I think they quoted like $860 or something for all of the mechanical parts, which uh, would have allowed me to have this a CNC in two or three hours instead of what I've gone through. But uh, I'm doing this project just because I want to do the project. don't really need the CNC machine. It's just something I've wanted to do and... You know, life's coming to an end one of these days, and by God, I wanted to do it. So everything that I've done on this CNC is new. I cut a few corners. Again, I didn't buy a NEMA 12 Hoffman cabinet for the electrical. I bought a uh, metal uh, cabinet for a garage or a shop for parts, and then uh, had Coyote Steel shear me an aluminum back panel, and I probably, all told, have, I think, $120 into that cabinet, and uh, I couldn't have bought the back panel for a Hoffman, probably, for that, but anyway, uh, I'll show you the mounts. This is the mount that I built for the Z-axis, the vertical. Uh, this is the front motor mounts out this way the back uh, the four large holes are just so you can use a nut driver through to tighten the nuts on the the motor and then it mounts here it's kind of hard to see but it just mounts off of the the face plate for the fine feed uh, down feed hand wheel on the on the milling machine I didn't think that was quite strong enough because for one there are only two 1032 screws so I went ahead and built an additional bracket uh, that mounts off of the back and this will actually bolt to a 14 millimeter um, it's the back side of the of the uh, quill lock uh, which on CNC machine that's never going to be used so I took advantage of that to just help with the torque. Uh, the X and the Y are very similar. Uh, the big hole in the front is just to facilitate putting the drive through. Uh, the motor again mounts the same big holes in the back and then it just got the the mount holes right here and this larger bore is where it slides over the bearing housing of the X hand wheel. I question their logic in running such a long belt uh, on the X and the Y axis until I realized by doing that you can still have your hand wheels on there and on the Grizzly uh, at, they're pretty good sized hand wheels so it, I had to stop and think for a while to see their, their wisdom and they uh, you know I should have known better you don't need to rethink uh, product that's commercially for sale. Now the one difference is I don't have all of the optional holes on this because I'm making this for one machine uh, and flash cut retrofits several versions Grizzly, Jet, uh, I can't remember all of them so anyway uh, the electrical is almost ready I'll zoom in on that and then go open the door. So it turned out clean. It's sanitary. All the parts are new. Uh, whoop, went the wrong way. It's kind of similar to the first one I built. That little unit right there, that's the guts out of an e-cigarette charger. I'm using it for my five volts. Uh, then you've got your breakout board there. And then these are eight amp drivers because these 1600 ounce inch uh, 
uh, motors I'm using are going to develop quite a bit of torque. So anyway, the project actually is within hours of being ready to run. So once I get it all put together, I did some dry fitting already on this and all the parts fit. So uh, once I find a way to get my UC100 to work, uh, I'll finish up this video by showing everything in place and, and uh, get some motion out of the axis. That's bright and early in the morning. Uh, mechanically, the CNC conversion on this Grizzly is uh, pretty much complete other than as we go along we'll make modifications. The Z-axis looks pretty good. Uh, I had to modify it a little bit. That trap door in the side I got to the point yesterday trying to get the set screws tight in the little timing pulley that uh, I ripped the whole top part off and redid the slots and, and uh, made it a little easier. The Y axis, uh, it mounts as described. Now, yesterday all of this was on and I used the hand wheel to cut that opening in the side of the Z bracket and twice I got my hand caught between the motor and the handle that was on the hand wheel so just doing it manually it hurt I can imagine what it'd feel like under power I mean those motors have got enough torque to break fingers uh, so I went ahead and I, I took the, the handle part off of them I would hope I don't have to do a lot of hand machining if I do <laughs> I'll probably pull the motors off and, and do it manual but uh, other than that everything went as described uh, today is electrical day I've already had this powered uh, I had nothing hooked to the drives so all of the cables uh, they're all pre-made I'm using uh, quick connects on all of the motors uh, so uh, hopefully and if I have any trouble with them these are watertight I'm gonna silicon rubber the backs even though they've got the liquid tight grommets in them I'm gonna go ahead and silicon rubber them and, and uh, if I have any problems with the motor I'll just cut them off Somewhat technically, the project is about to end. All I have to do is put the wire way on the covers in the panel and uh, make a mount for the remote start-stop station. Uh, it's got an e-stop, uh, cycle start, cycle stop, then a selector switch. Well, I guess I can grab it. Uh. I'll just have a console for this. Uh, I can move it around to, uh, if I start making graphite molds. But uh, the selector switch in the bottom corner here, that's an enable. It has to be on, and then you can push the auto zero to zero the tool. The e stop does just what it says it does. So, anyway, uh, I haven't made a mount for it yet. So, I just took it for a little test drive and uh, I've got dial indicator on it I'll zoom in a little bit on that and then we'll traverse from the uh, x-axis Got to make sure I don't run it off the end. Uh, 
not too shabby. As an old pal of mine used to say, that is nice and good and good and nice. A really fun project. Uh, sad that it's over. Now I'll be back to watching TV all day. Till the next video. Bye-bye.